Now I'm going to demonstrate the setup stage in the Vision Beta version. The setup stage in the software is dedicated to generating a treatment plan by aligning the teeth in the ideal arch and then generating the sequence of motions using module system, which we have available. If I want to change the position of a tooth, I can click on it, left click. The color indicates that it, is, has, it has been selected. I can toggle the gizmo on the, with a button on the top right. And the gizmo allows me to articulate the tooth by translating it or uh, rotating it. I will hide the lower jaw by clicking on that button to, in, to hide the entirety of the lower jaw. And I'll use the, the gizmo on the, the top right to switch the view. I will now attempt to position this uh, 20 second tooth between these two. But for that purpose, for that, I'm going to need uh, to move all of these teeth backwards. To do that, I'm going to need two separate motions. I will first select this tooth, move it back a little bit, and I'm going to proceed doing that for all of these teeth. And now that I have some space here, I want to mark all of this, this set of motions as a single module. And anything that comes afterwards, I want to put in a next module. To generate a new module, I want to click Next. And this tells me that there is one module for the motions of the uh, other molars. And then I want to select, activate the second module, and now articulate the, the tooth I want it to be positioned between these these two. So the system has collision avoidance enabled. That means I am unable to accidentally push one tooth into another to generate penetration. This means that I don't need to worry much about the correct position of the tooth. I can just push it backwards and it will adjust its position so that it's, it's sitting perfectly without colliding with the other two. Of course, I can toggle this behavior using the um, toggle intersection, uh, toggle collision avoidance button on the top right next to the gizmo button. Now that I have put some motions into the two modules, I have the bottom slider to show me what is the resulting motion. The resulting motion shows me that the First set of motions occurs, I apparently accidentally also moved the incisor, but that's all right. Um, the first set of motions shows that all of these teeth are moved backwards, and then the final motion of the desired tooth has been executed. All of this is packed into two modules. I can proceed to do the same thing for the lower jaw, but the process is equivalent, so I'm not going to. If I want to place an attachment onto a tooth, I can activate the tooth, click on the Show Attachment List button, and pick one of these attachments. I can drag and drop it onto the surface. Once it's on the surface, I can click on the surface to drag it around and position it on the surface where I want it to be. It will always sit perfectly on the surface. I can also change its orientation using the gizmo, scale, and change the thickness on the left. Thickness is in millimeters. I should also indicate where the, where the attachment should show up. So say the fifth aligner is where it should show up. Now, when I'm happy with the position and I'm happy with where it should show up, I should click the check mark. And this means the color change indicates that the attachment has been placed. And we can see that in the treatment plan, it's not present until the fifth aligner and only shows up on the fifth aligner. If I wanted to remove it, say on the eighth aligner, I could click on it directly and click remove. It means it only exists from fifth to eighth. These are not I don't think these are realistic numbers, but the principle is the same. The principle is uh, that you can add it at some aligner and then remove it from another. And let's say I want a new one show up, showing up on the eighth aligner once the other one removed. I can easily click on the tooth 
a drag and drop another one and indicate the eight aligner and then click the check mark to replace it. Also, uh, we have the IPR tool, which allows you to indicate the where the interproximal reduction should occur. I can select the tooth and I can activate the tool. With this gizmo, I, can, I should make a small adjustment in the orientation of the cut. And once I'm happy with its position, I can change the separation thickness, click apply. And the system now will take this into account during the collisions, avoidance, and also during the treatment plan uh, export for post-processing. This just indicates what the thickness of the uh, separation is.